Okay, so now it's time for the last video of the year, I think. At least until I decide to make one for the test. But you guys are probably going to fail it, so I don't care. <laughs> okay. uh, laugh track! Uh, 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 uh. That's my laugh track. Okay, real quick, this looks like an easy laugh. This is the one we should have done when we did the one that everybody hated. I mean, which one of... Well, one of the ones that... Everybody, dang, I dropped that. Um, the uh, the resonance lab was supposed to be next week, and this one was supposed to be done when we did that one. This is called the oscilloscope, and this is really using the oscilloscope. But don't worry, it looks like a really easy lab. <laughs> okay, now here I have it set up. We use our function generator, right? And I've got it set to 1,200 hertz. And what I've done is I've taken the leads off of this and I just put it to here for now. I don't know if we're actually going to do it that way. It just seems like an easy way to do things. And we've got one of our probes from our oscilloscope connected across that, like that. Now what we have here is I've got this thing. Now the important thing here is to make sure that this blue button here, this, this one second from the top, see if you, if you push that in, you get crap for data. You've got to make sure it looks out. That way you'll get a sine wave because the function generator is putting on a sine wave. At least for now it is. I can make it put out a, a triangle wave. I can make it put out a square wave. But we'll leave it as a sine wave. Okay. That's not a sine wave. Now it's a sine wave. All right. So then what you do is, I set it to 1,200. You change this, use this one to change that to something reasonable. Okay. That's the time per division. Right now it's set to 0.2. And we all learned in 20L, at least all but two of you, because all, most of you were 20L, how to figure out, based on the number of uh, periods, what the frequency is, things like that. Now that's 0.2 per division. You have 10 divisions across the screen and 10 divisions going uh, vertically also. The reason I'm talking about the 10 divisions vertically is we have this volts per division. You have one for channel A and one for channel B. We're just going to be using channel A. So you've got to make sure this blue button down here for channel A is pushed. If you push just the B button, you get crap for data again. It's just reading noise because nothing's hooked up to B. Nothing at all. Nothing. It's going to be just like your grade, a zero. Laugh track. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Santa Claus. <laughs> OK. So now we use the volts per division in the same way to get something that makes sense. All right? Now, a couple little things you want to do here. One is, when you start off, you want to hit this ground button here. And that way, you want to make sure that the level, the position of it, see, I can make it go up and down with this button here. You want to make sure that the position is right in the middle. All right? Like that. That's the ground button. That makes sure that your ground signal is at zero. Well, that makes sense. And then you hit the, you turn the ground off and you put it back to A. Um, if I change the amplitude, look, watch, watch what happens when I increase the amplitude, that increases the size of the signal. If I decrease it, it goes down. Increase it, goes up. Wow, that's amazing, isn't it? No. I don't think so either. Uh, and that's about all that you have to learn to how to do the lab. The rest of it is, you know, if you read the lab, I'm sure it's going to be pretty clear. It's got this crap about using this mystery frequency, and I don't even know if we really need to do that because it says, Get someone from another group to set a mystery frequency on your signal generator. Have them cover it up while you read it. From I, I only have one question. How the hell am I supposed to grade that? That doesn't make any sense. What am I supposed to do? Take a picture of everybody's, ask you what you set for somebody else's? I, I don't know how to do that. Uh, I, I'll think about whether we're even going to skip that step. But we'll see when you get the Excel spreadsheet. Um, and you can do it over different frequencies. Watch. Oh, yeah, watch what happens when I change the frequency, too. See? That's the amplitude. When I change the frequency down here, it changes the frequency down here. What a surprise! Has anybody got any questions? Oh, I forgot. This is a, this is a video. We need, a, we need a secret code for the day. Halitosis. That's stupid. That's disgusting. That's stupid. stupid, yeah. Let's that's, see. that's the password. That's stupid. That's stupid. That's the password. When I say, <laughs> say, uh, do you know what the password is? It's that stupid. <laughs> Actually, I got a better one. Use I don't know. That's stupid. That really is stupid. Use I don't know. 
Okay. The password is I don't know. <laughs> All right. Okay. 